Man, it is a beautiful morning here out on Anna Maria Island. This is the morning of day two for us at our stay at the Bali High Beachfront Resort here on the island. And I could not pass up how beautiful it was this morning uh, for a little drone flight to just get some killer shots. But man, it is just peaceful out here. Only within a half mile of me, a handful of people all the way down the beach. So our hotel is right there. The ocean is right there. <laughs> and yeah, it's gonna be a fun day. There's the uh, Hotel staff already setting up the uh, loungers for the day. Good morning, buddy. How do you sleep? <laughs> How did you sleep? Good. At one point last night, he may have woken up the entire hotel. Yikes. <laughs> There's the pool open from dawn till dusk, so no one even in there yet. So if you want a nice little private swim, go first thing in the morning. Literally, you would have it to yourself. <laughs> Good morning. Today we are here at the Mademoiselle uh, French restaurant and bakery. So we are really excited to try this place out. So Priscilla, what is that? You got the... The crepe breakfast. Crepe breakfast. Which is a crepe with butter, sugar, and honey. I would say classic for a uh, French bakery. Yeah. <laughs> Eggs, bacon, and the potatoes. And then this right here, we're kind of sharing both, but the uh, waiter actually re recommended this. This is the... You wanna? It's La Tiberon. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> yeah. I would have really butchered that but it has um, smoked salmon, goat cheese, um, and walnuts in it. And it's really flavorful. All the flavors really do complement each other. Oh yeah, with honey. Um, yeah, it's pretty good. And Logan is eating his little croissant with cream cheese. He likes that though. He might just be licking the cream cheese off of it though. <laughs> All right, so we just finished eating at Mademoiselle's French Bakery. It's pretty good. Priscilla even got a Nutella croissant to go. Yeah. Um, so now we're gonna head back to the hotel. I will say the only thing with the location of our hotel is um, it's beautiful spot on the beach, private, but you do have to, it's not walkable to any of these places, but everything is within a like two to five minute drive or less. 
um, one of the options, and you see it as you drive around here, is you can rent one of those electric golf cart shuttles per day. It's like 125, I think I saw for a four seater. Um, and that's a cool way. I see people driving those all over the place. Um, cool way to get around if you don't want to drive your own car. But we're just driving our own car. So at least um, so far we haven't had any problems like parking anywhere and stuff. I'm sure on the weekends though, it might be a lot crazier yeah. uh, finding places to parking. So maybe a shuttle, um, renting a shuttle might be a better option. Yeah. But anyways, yeah, it's working out for us so far. So back to the hotel. All right. So, there is no breakfast at this resort, but they do offer free coffee, which that's what that's we're going to get right now. I see, and they provide these like towels, like that cool. Oh yeah, I was wondering if those were people's towels yesterday, but no, the hotel sets those up. I like this cool little lounge area out here too. The flowers all falling on the ground from the tree. He looks so tired already. <laughs> He's shy. All right. Thank you. What's the drink of the day? Today it's called Sea Hag Swag. Okay. Yeah. Which is? It's going to be rum, pineapple juice, melon liqueur. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Cool. So kind of like a similar to a melon ball, but more of like a tropical flavor. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll be back later for sure okay. to get our drink on. Yeah. <laughs> And just found out from the nice girl working the bar this morning, or the lounge, that the three cabanas back here um, aren't, you don't have to reserve them. They're just kind of first come, first serve. I guess she was saying they were thinking about doing that in the future, but for now it's just grab it before anyone else gets it. <laughs> Real quick guys, these bikes are actually provided at, by the resort and are free of charge to borrow them for the day. So if you want to ride around and explore Anna Maria Island on a bike, it's included. So a few minutes ago, uh, the bartender was actually down here doing a little photo shoot with the drink of the day and I complimented her photography skills and she actually hooked me up with the drink she was taking photos of. It's really good. And it tastes even better because it's free. It's actually really good. She's a good bartender. And that's why you should always compliment people because you never know what it's going to lead to. And it's just nice to do. So, okay, so I'm going to continue to drink this. The bartender's name is Sunshine. And she made that specifically for you. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Really sweet. Said sweet and she's like, I know a lot of people's favorite drink I make is this. Mm -hmm. I forgot what she said. <laughs> Here we are chilling on our balcony, enjoying some drinks. And what is the best part about this? The drink? The baby monitor. The baby monitor, we don't have to worry. Yeah, Logan's currently uh, sleeping in the uh, main bedroom while we can sit out here, have some drinks, and still keep an eye on him. <laughs> Good stuff. Cheers. Hi guys, we are here today at the Sandbar restaurant. <laughs> We just ordered some oysters. Logan is really excited to try them, but he's not. Yeah, they look really good. Uh, so this is our appetizer. We also ordered this stuff, uh, shrimp. It's stuffed with crab meat. So we saw some pictures. It looks really good. So we are excited about that too. But look Logan's at, crawling on the table here. But look at this view. How amazing. Yeah, so check this out. We are right, literally our feet yeah. Feet in the sand here um, with this awesome ocean view. Yeah, this is it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. And I ordered also as the drink, just going with the beer right now, the Zote IPA, which is a from Sarasota, Florida, which we're basically there. <laughs> So here, 
We have the ceviche. Actually, I don't even know. Like, is this like plantains? It looks like it. Yeah, it looks good. Kind of this is, like... Yeah, the ceviche from the appetizer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And also we have the shrimp here. It looks really good. With yeah, looks, it's like color. stuffed shrimp with like crab meat, crab right? Crab meat, yeah. Good job. Yeah. The rice and green beans. And green beans. So we should start. So guys, we just got back to the room from the Sandbar restaurant at Anna Maria Island. And food was okay, it was good. It was good. The, the view was what that place was all about, at least in our opinion. We went during lunchtime. I will say we didn't have like probably the best server. They're really slow, but yeah. I'm gonna chalk it up to that's just that individual person and maybe not a yeah, reflection not on the place itself. Um, but yeah, so if you're looking for a really pretty view where you can actually put your toes in the sand, if you can request one of those patio spots um, or outback spots facing the ocean, then it's definitely a cool experience. Um, we just talked to someone that tried to get in there last night though, because we just went during lunchtime. So we, you know, it was a walk-in. Um, but he said that he couldn't even get into it when they tried to go there for dinner last night. So he was trying to put in a reservation today for later if that was even possible. I don't think he said if he did or not. Yeah, he said that he, he went there to try, but he, he never to said To try, it. yeah, so I'm not sure. Oh, well, he asked if the food was good, so I think he Yeah, yeah he said it was a two hour wait last night. Yeah. So I don't, maybe they don't do reservations. Um, but yeah, it was, it was okay so far. My favorite place I would say is the, for actual food is the ugly grouper that we ate at yesterday. I would have, if I had the choice again, I would go back there. Yeah, the food at this place was a little bit pricey. Oh yeah, it was definitely the most expensive so and far. Not much. With small portions, which we, I don't like. Yeah. I like big portions. We saw the pictures of the shrimp and, and it looked like way yeah. bigger and it was just like four little shrimps. It was really good. I really like them. Yeah. But. I don't think it's something you can share. Yeah, the <laughs> stuffed shrimp, correct. Yeah, not, no. definitely couldn't share that. I would eat that on my own just by myself. Yeah. Um, ceviche was, it was all right. Um, yeah. But I've had better. Um, stuffed shrimp though, I will say it was really good, really just good. really expensive. Yeah. So anyways, that's our thoughts on the Sandbar restaurant. So yeah. what we may have to go back there another time and try other stuff and a different person in the future. <laughs> but anyways, uh, we are finally today gonna go check out the beach and then maybe chillax after that back at the pool so anyways we will see you all down there all right and now we are all set back up at the beach with Logan's sandcastle making facility he has going on here what are you doing buddy he already took took about two seconds and he already has sand covering all over his face and ears, <laughs> and, ears yeah. and everything else <laughs> but i think we are going to go ahead and get in the water i may even set up the gopro with the dome mount so we can get some cool half above half below water pictures and video we're gonna have a lot of fun right look and look right here look <laughs> Logan, are you having fun with the waves in the water? <laughs> I don't know, if you guys have watched any of our previous videos, you would probably know by now that Logan loves salty things. He loves popcorn at Disney, um, any, the seaweed snacks, <laughs> soy sauce. Soy sauce. Oh man, when he discovered soy sauce. <laughs> but, so of course now, he had some salt water splash up in his mouth and he keeps trying to drink the salt water <laughs> we are the worst parents <laughs> yeah he doesn't eat sugar so <laughs> but he loves salt <laughs> All right. 
right, so one of the cool things to do when visiting the beaches at Anna Maria Island is not only go to the beach or go in the water, but bring a mask and snorkel with you. Today we just have a mask, but we're gonna try to find some really cool stuff underwater if we can. Not like, there's not like coral reefs here or anything, but still the water's so clear, you have pretty good visibility. So I recommend bringing a mask and it gives you a whole nother experience um, and perspective when visiting the beaches here. Ugh. The only problem is probably my uh, beard does not help the suction on this mask, but uh, we'll make the best of it. <laughs> so, here we go. It's a very small decline going all the way out. So you can walk pretty shallow, pretty far out here. And actually I believe I'm kind of on the uh, sandbar right now because it got even shallower as I got out here. And you can kind of tell this is the sandbar because a lot of the waves start to break out here before getting all the way up to shore. Um, so yeah, just uh, FYI, you can kind of tell where the sandbar is based on, uh, you see like lighter water towards the shore and it gets kind of dark but then you see uh, the water goes, uh, turns lighter again, if that makes any sense at all. Um, but yeah, pretty cool, right? This is enough uh, ocean for Logan for one day. His favorite part so far is just throwing sand in his hair. I think he liked the waves. <laughs> he after, does, At yeah. first he didn't, but he, he really started to it. after a while. It's really warm though. When you're way out there by the sandbar, it feels a little cooler. Oh yeah. And then when you swim inshore, all of a sudden it hits a point where it feels like pee water. It gets really warm. <laughs> and you think someone peed close to you. But anyways, uh, I think we're gonna grab our stuff and then head into the resort pool again. So another cool thing about this resort is the pool area. They actually provide some of these floaties and stuff and toys for our kids. And this is like perfect for Logan here. <laughs> you want me to wear the hat? Here, put it on my head. Put it on my head. Thank you. <laughs> you, your turn. <laughs> hey. Logan actually found this cool little underwater torpedo toy <laughs> and he's gonna show everyone what it looks like to throw it underwater it's really cool All right, guys, to finish the night off, we're going to hit up Pizza Social for dinner. Um, we've seen people talk about it in videos and we wanted something a little more chill and relaxed instead of an actual restaurant. So uh, we'll let you know how good it is. And Logan does like pizza. Pizza monster. <laughs> All 
All right, Logan, are you ready to chow down on some pizza? <laughs> yeah, so I'm really digging this place. It's very chill, relaxed way to end the night. I even like this seating here. It's patio style facing out towards the road and Logan really likes it because he can watch the cars go by. So anyways, we ordered the, their signature, it's called the Social Pizza. It's kind of a supreme with a little bit of all the meats on it. We did half of that on a 14 inch and then the other half cheese for little Logan. So you can just munch on that today and probably save some for tomorrow too. So, yay or nay on the cheese pizza. Mm -hmm. It's good. Nice, like perfectly toasted. Yeah, pizza, A plus. Perfectly crispy on the bottom, just a little bit of black. Yeah, I would definitely come here again, but I'll probably order the uh, buffalo chicken one because that's like my jam. But this one's really good, the social, basically they're supreme with, you got sausage, pepperonis on here, mozzarella, onions, peppers. All right, it is the final night here. And before we go to bed, I did want to say one thing I really like about the second floor of this hotel is the balcony because the first floor, if you had one of those rooms, it, what are you doing, Logan? <laughs> you see him putting the mac and cheese on the spoon and then eating it. Um, anyways, I was saying, if you have the first floor here at the hotel, um, there is no barrier for if you leave your room on your patio, meaning like anyone can just walk by, or if you have a little kid, they can walk out and away from your room. Where us being on the second floor, Logan has spent the majority of the time in the room playing on the second floor balcony because he really, really enjoys it. Um, he likes looking at the pool and playing with all of his toys out here. I just have to stop him when he tries to throw one of his toys off the balcony, which hasn't happened, thank goodness. But we came close a couple times. Well, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to make that point. Um, if you have a preference and do book this hotel, I personally would book the second floor if you want that option. Um, if not, obviously, the first floor, you do have quicker access to the pool and you don't have to walk upstairs. So whatever you prefer. So anyways, uh, I think that's it for this evening. So I will check back in with you all first thing in the morning because I think we're gonna get some donuts from, is it the donut experiment? Yeah. Yeah. So the pictures look really good. I'm excited about that. And I'll see you then. Good morning, guys. So, it's early in the morning right now, and I am, went ahead and left the hotel. Priscilla and Logan are still passed out. It is only 7 a.m., and I am heading over to the Donut Experiment to get a few unique donuts, because this place was recommended to us. So definitely want to try out some of their signature donuts. They have all kinds of, I guess, crazy combinations. So, and I guess they have a variety pack, so you can try a little bit of everything. So I think that's what I'm gonna do, and just have them select the donuts for us. Be a fun, different style breakfast from the nice French bakery that we had yesterday. Just got back with the donut order and Logan and Priscilla are now awake. So this right here we got is the summer assortment from the donut experiment where basically they have some signature ones already picked out in this box of 12. Not too bad on the price either. I think it was like just about $20 if not slightly less. Reese's Pieces. Reese's Pieces. 
Caramel. Caramel. Bacon. Bacon. What's that? Just cinnamon. Yeah, and probably. Sugar. Yeah, I'm guessing. Fruity Pebbles. That's definitely Flintstones Fruity Pebbles on there. Uh, coconut. Coconut with like maybe a strawberry glaze. Yeah. M&M's. M&M's, probably chocolate glaze. I don't know. That looks like caramel glaze. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's like this one that says candy bar. Maybe it's that. Something like that. This one, I don't know either. I don't know either. It'll be surprises for us. Cinnamon crunch, probably. Okay, possibly. Sugar. Maybe just sugar, standard sugar donut. Strawberry with chocolate. Yeah, strawberry with chocolate chips. Anyways, <laughs> they look really good and the price actually wasn't too bad. I've seen some gourmet donut shops that are very elaborate, but they're really expensive. But this was uh, good. They made them super fast. We'll and, see if it's worth Yeah, try one. Now I'm gonna try the M&M. It's heavy. Try it. It's try really heavy. It. Good? I hope so. It's all sugar. <laughs> it's all sugar. Logan actually has his own super healthy breakfast this morning <laughs> where mom and dad are chowing down on uh, donuts. <laughs> yeah, nice. I think I want to try this Reese's Pieces because I love Reese's Pieces. Mm hmm. Mmm. Yeah, that works so good. With, of course, it's like a peanut butter glaze on top of that. <clears throat> Big difference from the uh, Madame Mazelle's French Bakery we had yesterday morning. Yeah. All right, guys, so we're getting ready to check out at the Bali High Beachfront Resort, which we stayed at for two nights. And we just wanted to go over, go over with you all, since we're about to leave, some of the pros and cons we experienced while staying here. So first, some of the pros, obviously, it's a beautiful, modern looking room with a separated suite. So you have the bedroom in there, nice bathroom, 90% um, almost full kitchen, yeah. which that may be one of the cons. Um, bal beautiful balcony looking over the pool, which is really nice. Giant TV, which Logan is uh, dancing to Cookie Monster right now. Um, so anyways, our overall experience here was very positive. Very positive. Um, the bed is really comfortable. The bed was really comfortable. Comfortable. We got the, so our suite was the King um, Beach Side Suite with a pool view. So um, I went over in the previous video, the difference between beach side and beach front. Beach front actually faces the ocean, beach side faces the pool. I know that sounds kind of awkward and odd, um, but this brings us to one of the cons, um, which I did mention in the previous video, which we didn't experience, but if you were to get a beach front room, those are actually not remodeled to this nice, modern looking beach style uh, decor, um, which we did really like this experience in here, but those, just so you know, when you book, those have not been remodeled yet. And I see that as the number one negative when reading reviews online. So also we were mentioning about another con was if they just had like a stove in here, this would be a full kitchen because we got the fridge, we got the freezer, microwave, sink, big countertop, even a coffee maker, um, but no stove. Yeah, but however, the room with two uh, bedrooms, no, the, how do you call that? The two, two, two bedroom suite. suite. Yeah, yeah, there, there is an option to get a two bedroom suite. come with the stove, so it is a full kitchen. Yeah, that one does, this one does not. Um, so just an FYI, not a big one for yeah. me, but if you were looking for a full kitchen, it would be simple for them to just add that. And if you guys didn't watch part one, we did a full tour of our room here. So definitely go check that out if you wanna see everything that was included with this particular suite. Now, another big pro was actually the location because we are right our room isn't right on the water, but the hotel is right on the water. So for us to walk to the beach is 30 seconds, pretty much. We are on the beach. And with that, the hotel actually provides loungers and umbrellas for hotel guests only that they set up and take down every single morning. Of course, it's first come first serve, but both days we didn't really have a yeah. problem in getting them. And then the pool itself is 
Really nice pool. They even provide some kids' toys for the kids to play with, some floaties. Um, and then I really liked the little um, outdoor turf area where they had cornhole. Mm -hmm. And Logan loved running around playing yeah. there. <laughs> and they even had those little really pretty, oh, I call them like Miami style cabanas set up yeah. too. Um, which are also, we learned, were first come, first serve. Now, probably one of the biggest cons is this hotel does not provide breakfast at all. They do provide complimentary coffee, but that starts at 9 a.m. Yeah. A quick pro, the coffee maker in here was awesome. We did like that a lot. Well, um, the, uh, where they serve the free coffee, they do have like some donuts and things that you can purchase, but it's not like anything yeah. like a full breakfast. Yeah, pretty much they just have grab and go, which you could turn that into a yeah. pro because you can check out some of the nice Anna Maria Island breakfast joints. Yeah, yeah, we hit up Mademoiselle's French Bakery. We hit the donut place up this morning. But overall, I think every hotel should provide some kind of breakfast, yeah. you know? And they have the lounge in the area to do it and everything. Maybe they used to back in the day. Um, but that is a nice pro though. They do have a bar on site and a lounge. The drinks, I will say, were really, really good. The drink of the day, they provided two welcome drinks, which was nice. I think the only other time I ever had that was when I stayed in Miami um, or at all-inclusive resorts. They always provided that right yeah. away. Um, so it did feel like a resort in that aspect. The service from all the people that worked here, I never had a negative experience. Mm -hmm. All the staff Everybody was, was super, super really nice. Another pretty big con, especially if you like cleanliness, is of course it's a beach hotel, but the floor itself, even when we checked in, it felt like dirty. You can feel sand on the yeah. floor, but every beach hotel I've ever experienced, you get that effect. Um, even us walking around by the end of the day, our feet were like black and you'd see it all come off in the shower. Um, but yeah, that is one thing to expect when staying at a beach hotel. I will say at really high end places, they do keep the floors clean. But at this one, it's probably just impossible. Um, it is noticeably sandier for now than when we checked in. So they do clean it to some degree. Yeah, yeah. But I think the amount you pay for this place, because it is, it is pricey. It is a little higher end and pricier, but I think they could maybe do a slightly better job cleaning the floors, I would say. Yeah, but we also refused uh, housekeeping. We did service. refuse housekeeping the one night yeah. or extra day we stayed. So, yeah. But they did provide everything. They, oh, yeah. they left towels and all the essentials. Yeah, products. we kept the do not disturb sign yeah. up. And yeah, when we opened the door one day, there was a bag with extra towels, extra coffee. shampoo, coffee, all the above. So anything we would have needed to go ask, they went ahead and just left it there. Even more waters were in there, complimentary yeah. waters, mm -hmm. which was pretty cool. Something the hotel did go a little yeah, above yeah. and beyond. That was nice. All right, guys, so that's all we have in this two-day trip to Anna Maria Island, staying at the Bali High Beachfront Resort. We had a great time. Thank you all for joining us. If you like this video and want to see more from me, Priscilla, and, and Baby Logan. <laughs> Make sure to subscribe to our channel because we have a lot more awesome travel vlog videos, theme park vlog videos, cruise vlogs, all the above, tips, tricks, and advice that we learn from our experiences that we want to pass on to all of you. So subscribe, hit that like button, hit that notifications bell, and we will see you on the next video. Bye.